Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the Wall. Let's play as Venice. And in this episode, the Prussians, they just they just keep on coming. Uh, Jans Joachim von Zieten is coming after, or well, has gone within range of Gdansk. And we are going to, um, well, slaughter them. They have a couple of pieces of artillery, they may well make a breach. But we will be able to defeat them and send them scurrying back west as part as <laughs> as our current plan um takes into account so we are now at war with sweden it doesn't really mean much to us because we only have one territory that's actually within you know one border territory with sweden um, unless we attack across the uh, baltic sea which is a possible um, option. We could definitely try and do that. But for the time being, if we want to keep focusing on our current goals. So that, we've got a part of the wall that's breached. Or, well, that's going to be, could easily be breached. I'm going to keep the depleted unit onto the wall. We're not even going to try and hold it, really. I have my depleted units sit over the gatehouses the enemy can still scale the walls and get up on top so that's still a still a uh, threat howitzers deploy back the gunners foot artillery wait for a good spot okay we have a reasonable Backdrop of infantry. Conscripts may sit up on the wall as well. We've got pikes, which are obviously really good. Really good in, in defensive engagements. General and the cavalry. Hunker down. Skirmisher warband. We could probably share a bit of the frontage here so they deployed in the same style although they are able to actually engage us so the initial volley has been fired but beyond that we want to focus on quicklime want to try hit this unit of grenadiers when they come within range so they're aiming at this section rather than this section which is not a huge surprise quick blame away should be a good hit yep double whammy reasonable hit on the grenadier guards not as good as it could have been Position these guys up correct, but make sure they are fire at will off. Oh yeah. Hold back. They're firing quick line, we want to make sure we stand back. Engineer, militia. Like the line infantry guards. Let's put the conscripts over this side. It looks like these guys might try and flank around. Quick climb away. Good hits. Okay, this unit firing ahead now can't hit targets too close. Instead, engage cavalry to the rear. So these men should break before they get all the way around. 
Line infantry broken, grenadiers broken, excellent. Line infantry broken, but they have got stakes up. off again so I reset it so that should work now there we go okay let's bring the conscripts back onto this side militia we have attacking the wall First wave push back. So these are just Lanvin militia, they should get repulsed pretty well. my pikemen. Okay, let's try hit. Whoops, I've got some an announcement for Windows. Apologies, I'm going to quickly minimize the screen. I've got to get rid of that uh, notification. Apologies for that. It was taking a really annoying block on the corner of my screen. It covered up my minimap. Uh, awesome. Are you are going to hit the Lanvin militia here because they're starting to make a get a little foothold, which it looks like they might want to try and reinforce. These lists should break soon. Here we go. Militia, light infantry are on the way up. Focus on the units that could be involved in a follow-up attack. Then we're going to start round-shotting the howitzers, because it looks like the enemy's going to do the same thing to what they've done before. You men engage the engineers. The twenty odd killed. Come on, break, good sirs. Run. There they go, perfect. So light infantry, they're not going to be much of a problem to deal with. The militia is just a mass problem. And their artillery is ceased firing. Get a ceasefire and fire at will again. Have at it. Infantry unit advancing. They're also aiming at the engineers, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. The light infantry is broken. Push the militia. Successfully hold them off. Okay, 
Good stuff. You men, get up front, man those cannons. You men, man those cannons. How it's a switch to round shot, bombard this, bombard this artillery position. Twelve pound a foot in particular because they are uh, not. Well, they they are unlimbered currently. You men get ready to engage the 7th Regiment of Foot. Grenadier Guards are being recommitted. up by the engineers but this regiment of infantry is already breaking anyway because we we've got the opportunity let's attack some of these Cavalry units and then speed up time because for the most part like you can man your cannons. And that guard unit's just run straight for the front gate. Yeah they are. Who are you shooting at? Because you missed all those shots. Good, you don't want them making, uh, getting grappling hooks up. Okay, so it looks like, oh, it's nearly. Okay, yeah, you men, man your firing positions. Grappling hooks up. Broken. now we're back on with just annihilating their troops on that have uh, decided to stay outside the protection of the city or we'll stay out of the protection of the, uh, the buildings back here there you go those cavalry have been knocked out as well try going for the general's bodyguard and they don't like it when I switch to quick climb and target them. There you go. Just bombard the uh, bombard the guns, I think. Yeah, they've knocked down the house. Are any of the guns on, on the wall and shooting at them? I, mean, I could risk you guys man those artillery pieces and see if they'll engage the howitzers try to fire it well off on again sometimes that works nope the unmanned the guns completely there fine hey it's a howitzer unit destroyed or Broken. There we go. There goes everybody. That artillery park in the town is never going to work. Howitzers are awesome, baby. Okay. 327 men lost for me. More than 2,200 for them. Again, some of the units we've deployed... Well, we're getting quite depleted now. We could very much do with a period of rest and reorganisation. Are you demand Ukraine? No. Can't have any of that. 
The Russian garrison has marched out of Moscow, but will that make them vulnerable? My assassins have been doing a superb job at taking out their lead the Swedish leadership. Whereas Sweden's lucky they can't... Oh, oh, I see Moscow is exposed now. Some Swedish ships look like they want to conduct some trade war against me. They are welcome. Oh, the garrison at Kazan are sallying. The only um, front line we actually properly share with Sweden. Let's do it. The first uh, engagement against the Swedish Empire. We will take the city. This force will be destroyed and then we will be ready with three armies to advance into Moscow should Sweden take that city. They're going to be in trouble. They're going to be in might trouble but we're going to form a defensive position destroy destroy them as they well they're not sallying because they haven't got a fortress this would be a lovely position to defend but they might not necessarily let us have it we're going to try though could potentially lose a lot of men to their artillery doing this but I want to do it come on I'm losing vital movement something like that Militia in the low ground. Probably want to keep the bulk of my cavalry down here. Put a unit up here just in case. Get my general up here. There you go, they're opening up. My troops are clustered, so they could get a reasonable amount of kills. They're engaging my heavy cavalry. We must accept the punishment in the meantime. And it looks like they're also engaging my... Actually, I might slowly wind this back a bit because the terrain... There we go. Regiment of foot, line infantry, hussars, the unique unit of horse guards, cuirassier, hussar, general's bodyguards, regiment of foot, fusiliers, mercenaries. to fix them we are we can actually push up the left and anchor ourselves against the terrain they cannot cross advance my line up push my cavalry up we're just within range of the Curassier. Well, they're just out of range, rather. You're going to be in trouble when my when my howitzers get set up. Actually, let's maybe not push my cavalry up. 
Oh, it's very nice of them to run their heavy cavalry within range of us, but not actually press home the attack. Unlimber the guns, blast them with quicklime. Native African troops can't form square. They can shoot, my god. Engage the enemy square. Or engage the enemy engage the enemy infantry with my quick climb rather. Hey, you got pikemen around here as well, that's fun. One unit of cavalry destroyed. The enemy have abandoned their push on the flank, so we are going to re reinvigorate our campaign. No curiosity. Dragoons go for the general's bodyguard. Get human out of square, start opening up. So, commit my cavalry against their heavy cavalry. They fancy their luck against my militia? No, they don't. Okay, the flank is faltering. The Swedish flank is faltering. That is not mine. Go after that regiment of horse. Danger close, quick climb. Go for that six pounder horse artillery. Danger close, quick climb indeed. Positioned perfectly, however. Look at that, right on top, using attack ground. They use it to engage the enemy. You men recommit. Chase down the pikemen with cavalry, it seems somewhat poetic. Militia! Get in there, it's only a regiment of horse. Provincial cavalry being shot out of the saddle. Excellent. There's no point carrying it on because the garrison of the city will not be destroyed in one action we're not we're not in a rush either to take the city they've only got 200 men remaining savoy are building an army oh they got they got their fleet knocked out by the swedish i hope savoy deploy it against sweden oh that's denmark i thought that was <laughs> savoy fleet I thought, are they going to sail around and attack? Wurttemberg's going to Wurtem. Dagestan's just doing what they do. Okay. Light infantry doctrine research. That gives us access to new... Um, New types of light infantry. Graz will go on with platoon firing to get the plus one management for army administration, plus one for training, and allow us to build the army staff college. Port blockaded. Latakia with a fourth rate in a war galleon. 
Chip, come on, game. There we go. So right now, you're an army that is able to be committed into the fight. But I'm going to hold on to you in this in the Middle East. And these troops are going to deploy to Jerusalem to bolster their garrison. Okay, let's first of all let's check this. So Cairo is now fortified, which is super. Craft workshops in Lviv, great. It's a lumber mill and a farm. Oops, I didn't upgrade the. Don't upgrade the industrial building. We don't need a mega fort here. Very Croatia's industry. I'm going to upgrade Hungary's religious building because Protestantism Catholicism is growing, but not fast enough. Let's upgrade one port. Upgrade the Tunisian port. Upgrade the religious building to get that. Catholicism growing. Awesome. Upgrade the farm because farms are cheap. Right, so we're ready. If Sweden takes Moscow, we're ready to jump on them. We're just going to, well, I suppose we want to really just, just take Kazan because that's an auto resolve. So the city is ours. Reinforce the army. Get you up to up to Oost. Great, a couple of farm upgrades. The roads are already as good as they can be. Upgrade the fur market. Let's take. All right. <laughs> Let's send my mighty fleet. The first action of the, uh, the Venetian navy is going to be to attack this galleon and fourth rate of the Swedish Empire and then likely cash it in. I don't think we need a navy any bigger than the navy we already have. We aren't trying to achieve any massively dominating naval objectives. We're trying to destroy these ships. Postillon and Frederica Amalia. No. Yeah, Frederica Amalia. There we go. Sail in. We're going to take, take these ships, cash them in. We don't really need them. See how they're doing all these little micro maneuvers to they like they're like calculating exactly the position they want to be at. So you can see these very small course adjustments they're making constantly to the left. And eventually they give up and go, ah, I'm gonna turn in. Usually anyway. Anyway, we're only gonna speed up time until we get more into the action. There we go, there's the turn in. As soon as they realise they can't catch up. still do love the visuals in this game of taking down sails so I kind of I have to do it
you. I'm going to pivot around. Yeah, the Harper's going to get raked, but that's okay. Switch you to round shot. Because you're going to be in a position just to pound Postilion. Drop anchor. Spoil all the wind from your sails. Let's get pivoting. Starboard battery. Guys, get around the back of this formation as much as you can. You get ready to stop pounding in the broadsides. You just position, knock out sail of Frederica. Try and play a round shot. Let's see if you can knock a mast down, although you've already fired. Get over this way. You're going to pursue, but sail. Go with. Go firing round shot. Hopefully, San Domenico will be able to help out. Surrendered. Lost the rear mast. Mehmed Bay is in bad trouble. Let's get Mehmed Bay out of there. Lost the main mast. Mehmed Bay pumps a broadside into Frederica. We're going to continue. Leon Triomfante is going to hold. Provide an opening to be fired upon through the gaps in the ships. Broadside coming in. There we go. Obviously, overwhelming superiority there. That's how I like to do it at sea. Now we're going to cash them both in. 3,200. Sail back to Antalya. Get the militia into Antalya. So 3,200, and we did, or we received, 745 cash damage, so we can nearly upgrade that dock for free. New national leader. So let's check my ministers. He is terrible. My justice minister, plus one treasury, plus one navy, plus one management, minus two treasury. So you, need, you are only good at the navy. My navy guy at least has a plus one management in general. Treasury is plus one navy, but not very good. Oop. Yeah! Beppe Ferretti. Plus one treasury, plus one navy. Plus one management, plus one justice. Okay, you want to be my justice minister. No, you're, pretty, you're good in either. Okay. You can stay as the treasury minister. Trade is doing gangbusters, plenty of cotton, lots of furs, and lots of long established trade relationships like with the United Provinces. Genoa is taking one bale of cotton. 
Just the one bale of cotton, actually. Well, you know, we are maxing out our production and trade of cotton, so that's going to be all you get, I'm afraid. Okay, let's upgrade a couple of farms here in Chukask. Don't think there's any farm, any villages left here at Chukask? No. But more farms, more population, more money. All good stuff. Okay, so Kazan is ours. We have a boardy house, which is okay. I probably want a religious school. Um, 18 turns to Lazov grows, which will be here. Nice. Okay, let's hit end turn. Nice. So we could potentially invade through, uh, across the Black Sea and attack St. Petersburg. That would be quite a good position to get them in. Ooh, Spain. This is acceptable on the grounds. I mean, the right span's a, a really good tech to have. But trade and a little bit of money. You know what? Let's, let's tie Spain to us. Let's make them it'd be more... Dem uh, diplomatically untenable for them to break our trade agreement. Ooh, Prussia's pulled some of their troops back. Now might be a moment to try and bash those two large armies and force them out of the territory. Counter offer. I'll just give it to you. I don't want to go into your territory, Russia. You need help. No, don't attack that full... Oh my god, they won. They chased them into our land. There we go. Now this... That army's ready to help defend the, the Russian capital. Gentlemen are coming back. So we will attack that force that's crossed into our territory. We will not allow that to happen unpunished. I mean, that's a massive invasion force. I want... To, they've got to be going for Baghdad, surely. They've got to be going for Baghdad. I'm assuming it's only our alliance with Persia that they're not going for it. They've thought about it and they, they've worked out that Persia must be more likely to support me rather than them. A rake in Bulgaria. A little bit of a chug there. Go up to Minsk, see what's going on in Poland. See, this army, you could be doing some good back in near Moscow. Oh, they're actually just on the. They're actually just on the border. Well, I'll stand there just to make sure they can't break out and start raiding our territory. Lots of steam engine factories, two industrial buildings we can upgrade to the next level. Plus, at Naples, Palermo gets a steam-powered cloth mill. I mean, Naples is going to be right out there in terms of our wealth. Well, slowly we'll start to upgrade our <laughs> defences in Baghdad. Let's maybe not build a new port here. I mean, like, one good fleet would chase all of those away. Now I need I need you here. Um, I'm willing to risk Baghdad. If anything happens that we have to immediately respond to, we've got lots of good production. Well, actually, let's maybe take this as an incentive to invest in 
Damascus and Jerusalem to maximize their recruitment potential. But yeah, a good army in the defense, you know, defending, defending Baghdad will be more than enough. Pizzaritsin gets a church school. Upgrade some of the farms out here. Upgrade the seminary. Chukask is likely... Yeah, they're about to lose the last of their religious unrest. Siamo pronti. Your reinforcements are en route. One melee infantry, two two skirmishes. I think that's two cavalry and artillery piece. Let's go for light cavalry sharpshooters and let's go for Curacier to keep our Catholic heritage alive and 24 pounder howitzer awesome uh, but yeah the this is the opportunity i think we have we probably make sure you are replenishing because you need it we have an opportunity here so who do we attack first this force with a bunch of militia well, this force with more. Either way, much of a muchness. Ernesto, your force is quite elite. Let's take Simone Ferrari and attack the nearest army, Wilford Kramer. There we go. We've got we've got the numerical advantage. We've got better artillery than they do. Even this army artillery, it's horse artillery rather than heavy horse artillery. So let's cross, let's push them back away from Gdansk. Let's get a bit of breathing room and expand the our stretch of um, Baltic Sea coastline that we control. We're going to be in a really good spot to potentially send an army to invade St. Petersburg because that would be a really good way to cut off Swedish support. Okay. The former gun line. We don't need our artillery to defeat their army in the field. But we need it to defeat their artillery. And to. Well, and to, just, and to neuter their cavalry, really. I mean, not that we've got... Well, we're, we're pushovers. By any stretch of the imagination. But knocking out their cavalry with our artillery is just delightful. Especially when it lines up like that. If the Dragoons... Then my artillery open up as planned. So guerrilla mercenaries, Swiss grenadiers. Ooh, quick line going for my pikemen. Very good shot by my AI. Mit my hussars. You men drop into square. Gendarmerie, push. Give them a volley. Heavy cavalry can deal with them then. Okay, the enemy cavalry's been dealt with. My howitz is working on quick climbing their artillery emplacements. Dragoons have dismounted.
Killed some of the crew, not a huge amount. Good kills. Oh, the terrain is in not it's not useful. Okay, let's risk my hussars. You want to focus on quick climbing the left. It's the vulnerable position. Excellent, the regiment of horse is shattered. Okay, so we can whip around the flanks now. They've got Swiss pikemen that may make it to the merge. Quick climb should be landing kind of soon. Oh, a bit too close for quick climb. Quick climb in, knocking out their infantry blocks. So they're going to mow through my heavy cavalry, but I don't really have a choice. You've got to kind of hit them with cavalry and try and break them, break their morale. Bodyguard, we're engaging to the rear. There we go. Just make sure we shatter them. Great. Bring my grenadiers back up. Should be able to kill the enemy general there. All my artillery engage the Lancer Guards. Lots of, lots of fire on my Hussars right now. They're attracting a lot of attention. They may well waver. They may well route. route, route route rather but if they do it's worthwhile trying to get their general let's focus my quick climb on the enemy reinforcements coming in my foot artillery their six pounders are out of range focus on the general's bodyguard just to see if we can get him Form our line again to be a bit more self-supporting. To be honest, I might retire my heavy cavalry. Guard de corps, that's not great to see over on the horizon. Coming in on the full charge as well. I think the objective is you men form square, survive for as long as you can, and then use the carabiner to try and get a decisive edge. Hold firm. 
We don't need the general. You aim at the Lancer Guards, you aim at the General Bodyguard, you aim at the Grenadier Guards. They're advancing forward. Put those skirmishers at risk. We just shot a bunch of my own men, I'm pretty sure. So they're going to be pretty close to breaking. Warband have broke, that's fine. Excellent. Curassier. Go over here. Howitzers. Wood artillery we don't really need. The warband have recovered. Excellent. Enemy general is suiciding. That's not the general, it's a general. Lancers. Do you need support artillery protected by gendarmerie? Maybe let's put the cuirassier over on the other flank. The so guards are shattered. I okay, think it might be worth risking my carabiner in a full frontal attack against the demi cannons. Guards running in. Go on, how much engage the infantry while they prepare for my attack? Kill the gunners. Get over here. Ultimately, they're going to withdraw. If I'm going to pull, retreat them anyway. Even if, if if they don't retreat, I'll, I'm going to do it myself manually. Push my cavalry along. Hell, they're going to stick around. I might actually send them on a mission to help knock out some of this artillery. My artillery's in range of their 12 pounder howitzer foot artillery and it's triggered their general's bodyguard to commit to a suicidal attack. My carabiner went to attack the horse artillery. That triggered the gendarmerie to attack, which triggers my QSC air to respond. No, nope, carabiner, go after the artillery because you're weak. My heavy cavalry, go after their gendarmerie. I don't care if your general's bodyguard wants to come at me. Come at me. You will not win that engagement. Your, protect your deployment of lances is a good one, though. Just get, just hit him, just try and see what damage you can do. Let's advance a component of my line forward. You 
men decrease your front line and advance oh I thought the Lancers had uh, withdrawn but no it's just a too much my cavalry just run away Infantry needs to push forward. Something like this. Yeah, put artillery engage the howitzers. My first regiment just come up and provide support enemy shrapnel fire swiss grenadiers look great i do love the swiss grenadiers garrison guards blast this combat with shrapnel. <laughs> I don't care if I get my uh, my skirmishes. Advance up to the top of the hill. Actually, howitzers can reach. They can reach quite far along. Well, I'm just about hit that unit of Prussian line infantry. Getting the Marines to show up over here. Got a bunch of my mercenaries, my guerrilla mercenaries. Okay, break. The lances are broken. Okay, we'll just go after the um, go after the enemy artillery. Swiss pikes get involved. Barrel into the enemy artillery, that should be okay. Shouldn't cause any problems. Whoa, apart from those stakes. You've got you do have good fire onto those guys on top. Okay, you guys. The important thing is when the action is over, they go that way. They don't run towards me, they run away from me. Actually, I'm probably not going to try and chase people down, not with the uh, dates all over the place. go just push them back push them back across the river that's good enough heroic victory yeah took a lot of losses to get it but i think it's worthwhile three to one yeah i'll, I'll take that nearly four to one but yeah i'll take that yeah i will take that
Okay, you need to push up into that. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, I was going to say. And then you're going to push up nearby. And also replenish. Okay, I think. Okay, let's take five units of your infantry, push you up, make it six. I can send this line of infantry forward to Breslau. Let's recruit. Uh, okay, hold on one second. Let's build. Let's recruit a Dragoon unit because we're getting a bit of unrest. Let's send more line infantry forward. You men can reinforce the garrison. And these guys. Actually, you don't really need it. You can pull one out, one unit out, push one unit in. You fold some of your units together push fresh troops in excellent I uh, can't do much about the also the elite troops but that'll do for now then we'll actually recruit a general here Damiano Penna and we will Just recruit a selection of things. Standard things. So we'll just probably just get standard 12 pounder artillery pieces rather than 24s. Just to act as a bit of a reserve. Get some Swiss Mountain Jaegers in here as well. Cool, because we could get pushed. Um, could, these guys could get pushed against by some of these Germans. I'm pretty sure Diedrich Wiener, he, that's an army made up of the dregs of the forces we've destroyed here uh, previously. But you guys are replenishing. Let's get one church school building. Keep the spread of Catholicism high. Yeah, but looking at the timer... I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.